let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! God, I love the power thrust on this CBR 1000 fucking double R, baby. But let me tell you this, guys. The new Honda RC213V-S is out now. The, the much-awaited and much-anticipated, you know, MotoGP-style street bike is now available for purchase only if you are part of the 1% of the nation that can afford a hundred and eighty four thousand dollar bike <laughs> I don't know you know none of my friends can afford that bike I know maybe some maybe some of you guys know some rich cats that can afford that but to be honest with you would you really want to pay eight hundred and eighty four thousand dollars for a bike that only has a for here in the United States only has a hundred and one horsepower that the, the rev, has a rev limiter on it that only that you can ma only can max out at 9400 rpm which they say was for noise emissions and you can't even get the race kit that goes with it that will bump the horsepower up to 200 horsepower well, that's only available for the european folks which the european people get all the good shit over in europe you know we get the half-ass uh watered down power shit out here in the united states which sucks ass but Seriously, 101 horsepower? $184,000? Although the bike has a lot of the MotoGP's, you know, uh, has race electronics, it has a ride-by-wire, it has uh, probably the best suspension you can fucking get that's uh, very similar, if not the same as MotoGP style. But the power! If I'm paying $184,000, I want the fucking power, man! Fuck all that up. I mean, obviously, suspension, everything, is, and handling is, is awesome. Don't get me wrong. But not $184,000 awesome. If I'm going to pay $184,000, I want fucking Mark. Mark has his used MotoGP bike. That's what I'll pay $184,000 for. Not some, some fucking half-ass, uh, you know. Ah, oh, shit. Closed. Not some old half-ass, uh, half-powered MotoGP-like bike. It does look awesome, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't have the goods, man. And even the, its European counterpart has 159 horsepower, which is still less than this damn this CBR 1000 R. It's like... But you can get the race kit in Europe, which is that race kit. I, I don't even want to know what the price is for the race kit. But it supposedly will bump the bike up to a whopping 212 horsepower. Ooh. Although that is fast as hell, but not $184,000 fast. I tell you guys. Oh, shit. I missed my road. Got to head back. But I, the price is just out of this world. I, I don't understand Honda's purpose uh, for building this RC213V. It's just really like a model. It's just if you want to, say you have, are riding a, uh, a MotoGP-like bike, then yeah, go, go pay your $184,000 for that bike. But in my opinion, it's just... That's for somebody that has a whole lot of money to waste. Or maybe if you're like Jay Leno and like to collect bikes, which is nothing wrong with that. I'm I'm not hating on the bike. I'm just, you guys know, I'm cheap. And I can't justify the utility value for that bike. And uh, there's no way in hell that I'm paying... guys Woo! mid 
range on this bike. It's amazing. Fucking awesome, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> Having my little fire blade moment here. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know where the fuck I am and I don't care. But yeah, the RC213V, man. <laughs> RC213V Overrated Overpriced Get the fuck out of here man I tell you guys I don't know what's going on with shit See that road debris man You gotta be careful out here A lot of shit out here On the streets But Honda I don't like the direction they're going with their bikes man You know it has me trouble The one thing That I love about Honda though That they will probably stay true to is having highly refined bikes and reliable bikes and that's what I really love about Honda bikes but they are falling way behind the competition man you know they gave that bullshit update on the CBR 600 double R actually made it slower the bike what does it have like 94 horsepower or something now you know my 2008 CBR 600 double R has like what 106 horsepower Supposedly they reduced it for I guess the uh, missions purposes or something like that some bullshit And uh, and they made it look they made it homelier. It looks actually in my opinion. It looks older than my bike I don't the design is okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating for those of you guys that have that bike It's still an awesome bike uh, But I like prefer the looks on my bike better but that's just me. But like I said, once you throw a leg over bike, looks don't fucking matter anymore anyhow. But, um, yeah, I, and then the Honda CBR 1000 double R, although this is an awesome bike, you know, it, uh, it doesn't have the goodies that the newer bikes have, like the new. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, is that a cop up there? Slow your ass down, brother. No, that ain't no cop. Woo! But anyways. Yeah, the uh, the Honda, uh, the new Yamaha R1. You know, I, I'm not really one for electronic rider aids, but what looks really cool with that bike, it's very fine-tuned. Like, you can literally make a lot of a little adjustments to it where you barely have the electronic rider aids on but it's there to help you or you can turn them off and I think I, I think that the new Yamaha R1 the new 2015 Yamaha R1 I think it looks like an amazing bike it gets amazing reviews everybody loves the bike and uh, yeah uh, Honda needs to step up they need to be, you know Honda has probably more money than all of them they could do whatever the fuck they want to do but for some reason they're just being really cheap and they're just keeping the same old bikes going, doing little silly updates. Although the, the update they did on this is pretty nice. You know, they put the uh, the show a big piston fork and the balance free rear shock on the back, which is is really amazing. And the computer, they put uh, the new display on here. It's really amazing, but you know they need to step up to the plate and uh, do a little better and then keep up with the uh, BMW, Yamaha, and Kawasaki. Suzuki's behind the eight ball as well. You know, they still got the same really old bike going on. No electric, no, no new rider aids, no, uh, nothing, you know, to get to, uh, nothing new to the table. So I have to give praise to Kawasaki and Yamaha, you know, for their innovation. You know, although, you know, that new, uh, H2 and H2R, which I don't really understand the purpose why they built those bikes, I guess to just flex their, uh, which I think is awesome though. I, th I love that they created some new innovation. They put the supercharger on there, but it's too bad they didn't make that bike lighter than what it is, but it's still probably still a fantastic bike. And I think it's amazing that they offer these bikes with the new innovation at an affordable price. As where Honda builds this half-ass, 
you know, RC uh, 213VS with no power in it for 184 fucking thousand. I don't even think Jay Leno will probably buy that bike. He probably won't even see the, the uh, utility value in that bike. So Honda, listen to me, please. Flex your power. Show us some, pull out the big guns and, and like you used to in the past and show us uh, an awesome bike. You know, step it up. I want to see you take over the number one spot again. And, uh, you know, stop being so cheap. But, hey, guys, that's all I have for you. Just my little rant on this uh, this new, you know, Honda bike that's coming out. I know a lot of you guys think I'm a Honda fanboy. And uh, I love all the bikes, guys. I have an appreciation for all of them. You know, I, you're talking about somebody that rode a fucking Chinese scooter, 178 cc's, and had a blast on it. You know, I could, I could, I could fuck with anything. It doesn't matter to me, man. But I, I really love Honda because I hate working on bikes. I love the reliability and the refinement on these Honda bikes. That's why. You know, these bikes are underrated. These make really awesome street bikes because they have real strong mid-range. And that's really what you want out here on the streets is that strong mid-range. It just has, it's just, it's a fun bike. And it has a storage in the trunk. You can put all kinds of shit in there, which is very rare for a sport, by any sport bike. And uh, it has the removable tank cover. So you can completely change the whole look of your bike like I did. You can't really do, you, I don't think you can, you can't do that on any of the other bikes. All of them have painted tanks. So you actually have to have the tank repainted to match the fairings, which can be a pain in the ass to go through. This, you just swap out the, the fairings within an hour. By the boom, by the bang, you got a whole brand new looking bike. So there's a lot of real benefits to go with the Honda still. And you can real still get some sick deals too. Like I said, I only paid $9,000 for this bike. But, uh, hey guys, that's all I have for you. So, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, CycleCruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. And I have a bunch of playlists where all my videos are categorized. Hopefully, you can find something that will uh, inform you or entertain you. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Let's check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.